Have you ever seen a big band or artist in a small venue? Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I'm talking about either before a band broke big or after they had already lost their popularity or someone from a big band just playing a solo show or a one-off special show or a band doing a free acoustic show in a record store. The word big is relative, so it, it could be a big band to me, maybe not to you, but to me it is. So basically any band you've seen and you remember thinking to yourself, I can't believe I'm seeing this band in such a small venue. I'll try to include some pictures and videos because there aren't any pictures. Did it really happen? So I'll start out with Oasis and the Black Crows. I saw them both on the tour of Brotherly Love in Las Vegas at the Hard Rock Hotel. Probably maybe a thousand people there. And both those bands played a huge crowd, so it's pretty cool to see them there. I saw Metallica at the Fox Theater in Oakland. I mean, I don't, I'm not good at judging how many people were there, but you know, they play stadiums and arenas, not theaters. So this was a few years ago. I had to pay $500 to get in, but hey, it was worth it. I saw the Smashing Pumpkins at the Fillmore in San Francisco. Maybe a thousand people were there. I remember the tickets were $25 each and you can only buy two. And so I, I sold my other ticket for $250 on eBay. Oops. I saw Prince twice in one week in Oakland at the Fox Theater and then the next week at the Fillmore. So, wow, that was quite a show. Both times he played over three hours and both times he ended with Purple Rain. So it was really emotional. I saw the Foo Fighters at the Troubadour. I would guess maybe three... 300 people max were there. I don't know if you've ever been there, but it's a really tiny venue. I remember uh, once I found out for sure they were going to be there, uh, I broke like six traffic <laughs> traffic laws to get there in time. You had to get there and get a wristband. And I think there were only six people behind me who got one. So it was I was really lucky. They were promoting the Wasting Light album. So they played that whole album plus the greatest hits played at least 32 songs. It was amazing. I saw Scott Weiland in a little club in Orangevale, California. Now I've seen him play arenas with Stone Temple Pilots. So it was bittersweet to see him in such a small place. I mean, it was nice to be in so close to him, but it just means that maybe he couldn't have played a bigger place at that point in time. <sighs> Rest in peace, Scott. I saw the Acoustic for a Cure show twice in San Francisco at the Fillmore. It's a charity event put on by Sammy Hagar and James Hetfield sometimes. But I obviously saw James Hetfield there. He did an acoustic version of In My Life from the Beatles. He hit, he hit a falsetto note at the end of that song. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Obviously, Sammy Hagar was there. Billy Joe Armstrong, Joe Satriani, Taylor Hawkins, Mick Fleetwood, Sarah McLaughlin, Pat Benatar, Nancy Wilson, Steve Vai, Don Felder, and Dave Grohl. I saw Mattis Yahoo in a little record store in Sacramento called Dimple Records. It doesn't exist anymore, but he, I saw him twice do a free show in a little record store before he got big. I saw Third Eye Blind in a little bar in San Francisco called Bottom of the Hill. They were just, it was like a warm up show or something. You know, they were just testing out new material. I remember they, they didn't want anyone to record the new songs. They said they didn't care, you know, once they play their older stuff. So that was amazing. I love Third Eye Blind. I saw Stephen Jenkins at Dimble Records in Sacramento. He, he was doing a free acoustic show. I saw Tesla at that same record store doing a free show. It was amazing. I saw Jacoby Shaddix do a bunch of covers and a few Papa Roach songs in a little, uh, little venue in Sacramento. It was some all-star jam, but it was pretty cool to see him there right up close. I saw Sammy Hagar play his restaurant in Roseville, California. It was free. I couldn't have been any closer to the stage. Robin Zander played a small club in Sacramento and I actually got his autograph after the show on, his, on my arm. And I got it tattooed the next day. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh man, I love Cheap Trick. I saw Duff McKagan do a free show in a record store in Seattle. And I got to meet him and take a picture with him afterwards. And he threw a 
uh, wristband out in the crowd and I caught it pretty cool. I saw The Offspring do a acoustic show in a small venue in Sacramento called Ace of Spades. That was really awesome. I saw Collective Soul at the Boardwalk again in Orange Rail, just a tiny venue. And they were doing some kind of corporate gig. I don't remember how I got tickets, but um, they were just, I think there were only two of them doing uh, acoustic songs to get as close as you wanted. I saw Lars Fredrickson do a solo show in Oakland. He's from Rancid. Obviously, I'm a huge fan. I have him tattooed twice on my body. But anyway, yeah, it was, it was a really fun, fun show. I saw Nazareth in a tiny, tiny venue in Folsom, California. I mean, just imagine the huge crowds they've played to over the years. And I got to see them very, very up close. It was awesome. Chris Novoselic, the bass player from Nirvana, he had a band, I don't know if they're still together or not, but called uh, Giants in the Trees. I saw them in Seattle. And again, I couldn't have been any closer. And after the show, I got his autograph. He gave me his guitar pick and I got a set list. My friends from the UK will know this band, Travis. I saw them in the year 2000 when they were opening up for Oasis in Berkeley, California. They played a free acoustic show in a record store. Really awesome guys. I saw the band Eve Six at a Sony store in LA. They were doing a free acoustic show. Really cool. They're one of my favorite bands of all time. Really cool. I got to meet them and get their autographs and stuff. All right. That's, that's all I can think of off the top of my head. So if you've seen a band like that, you know, a huge band in a small venue for any reason, let me know about it. I'd love to hear it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Mm.